This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. All right, friends, a pleasant good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball. We are live here from Huntsville, Texas, and again, thanks for joining us on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Except for a good one here today as Sam Houston battling the UT RGV Vaqueros this game. Sam Houston trying to go four or make it three in a row now and 2-0 and in WAC Conference play. I'm Rob Hip, your play-by-play announcer. Again, thanks for joining us here tonight as we will get things rocking and rolling here in just a few moments. Again, Sam Houston coming off of a convincing victory versus Lamar uh, to open up WAC Conference play. It was a flurry of cu- clutch plays to get things started for Sam Houston back on December the 30th. As the Bearcats 6-8 and eight overall, 1-0 and oh in whack play. They trailed by as much as 5 in the second half, but they fought back to take a 58-55 to 55 lead on a layup by DeMarcus Lampley, a three-pointer by Savion Flagg. The two teams traded baskets until a pair of free throws by Flagg. A three-point by Dante Powers pushed the advantage to 8 following a turnover with 141 to go in the game. DeMarcus Lampley came up huge in that game. He had 20, 20 points, 4 of 8 shooting from long range. Powers had 11. Jaden Ray dished out a career-high 11 assists to guide the Bearcat offense. Savion Flagg, the Texas A&M graduate, transfer 22 points and 5 rebounds. Sam Houston shot much better in that contest versus the Lamar Cardinals as the Bearcats went 11 for 25 from behind the arc. They scored 27 points off of 18 Cardinals turnovers. The Bearcats shot 51% from the field to overcome a 34-33 to deficit at the half. Lamar will drop to 2-12 and on the season. They shot 54% from the floor but only shot 30% from three-point land. So you can take some things from that previous matchup on the 30th and you can say if Sam Houston can continue to shoot the ball well, they've got a good opportunity here to really take care of business tonight against a Vaqueros team from UTRGV. They shoot 72 points a game. They're also a good shooting team from the field at 45%. They shoot 33% from behind the arc. They also struggle from the free throw line as the Bearcats do as well, 67%. The Bearcats have the advantage in the rebounds in this game. They rebound 38 times per game compared to 35 for the Vaqueros. I had a chance to catch up with head coach Jason Hooten. We'll talk more about this one and hear from coach when we come back on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove, Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Rob Pip here pregame with Sam Houston men's basketball head coach Jason Hooten as we quickly look back in the previous game for Sam Houston taking care of business versus Lamar. It was a game where the Bearcats shot 11 of 25 from behind the arc. They also scored 27 points off 18 Cardinals turnovers and it was good to see not only just Savion Flagg in double digits as usual but Marcus Lampley had 20 in that ball game. Coach, just kind of your thoughts in that first opening game and whack play. Yeah, the, the first one's always the hardest one. I mean, you know, you got a lot of nervous uh, the feelings and I think you know both teams were coming off of some COVID scares and then of course they had some guys out for COVID and you know I just think you never know what to expect on that first night so it, it was a tough game for sure and you know I, didn't, I don't think we played our best I do want to give Lamar credit I thought they came out and played like they had nothing to lose you know with some of their best players missing 
And I think our guys played down to that a little bit. Um, we really didn't come out with that fire and that pizzazz and didn't play defense, I thought, for the most part. Um, but, man, you know, I want to give our kids a lot of credit because they found that testament fortitude in the second half, and I thought the last 15 minutes, you know, we played pretty well. Coach, how do you feel about the shooting in that ball game? It seemed like your team had done a, a quite a bit better job, especially in the first half. They pulled off a little bit in the second half, though. Yeah, we make some shots, I mean, you know, for sure. I mean, Glenn had a good game, scored 20 or 22, and, and uh, Savion had 20 or 22. But, you know, the big spark off the bench was Dante coming in and scoring 11 points, and I thought he did a great job, you know, after a good minute in there. Um, but yeah, we made shots, made 11 threes at 24%. You know, if we can make 11 threes at 44% every night, we're going to have a pretty good team. Today, facing UT Rio Grande Valley, the Aquaros, and this is a tough team. It's never a game in any game. UTRGV coming into this contest looking for their first win in WAC as they get their season underway in conference play. Coach, it's kind of your thoughts heading into this one. It's a very tough UTRGV team. Yeah, they got a good team. I mean, they're very talented. Uh, you know, one thing I notice on film is, you know, how much talent they have, and they have a couple of guys that can really score the ball. And, you know, we just we're gonna have to do a great job of, of being solid tonight, you know, just being a tough and solid team. And, do those things that we normally do. Uh, I do think if we do that, and we'll, you know, we'll like we're right at the end of the night. Um, you know, we we we've got to keep getting better. We've got to keep it moving, and you know, I think the biggest thing is just playing with with uh, our confidence and our identity. That's what we. That's what we. That's when we're our best, and that's what we're all about. Now it's time for Coach Hooten's keys to the game, presented by Emblem Property Real Estate. Coach, your keys to victory in this one. Well, one, I think we're one of the fast teams in the country as far as pace, so we've got to get back in transition and limit, eliminate the easy match. We've got to stop the ball high and find shooters. You know, I think that's the first one. I think the second one is, is we've got to do a good job tonight, you know, keeping the ball in front and making charges. You know, we did that against North Carolina Central, took six charges. So we got to do that, and then we've got to continue to rebound the ball. Uh, you know, this team gives up 13 offensive rebounds a game, and we've got to find our way in there and get the easy and tonight off the offensive glass and I think the last one is just maybe the most important one and that's play. We gotta play. We gotta play hard. We gotta play with enthusiasm and energy. We gotta talk and communicate. You know, I think if we'll do that, nothing else really matters. Uh, because I do think we can kinda control what what happens, you know, just in our hard play and our solidness and our toughness. Very happily to make it three in a row in O2 and Y conference play coming up here in just a few moments. Sam Houston versus U T R G V. Coach as always appreciate your time. Happy New Year and you love cats. Thanks, Rob. You love cats. Keys of the game brought to you by Emblem Properties Real Estate, who offers the customer service different for our customers. Our number one. This wraps up pregame with head coach Jason Suden. We'll have more analysis when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Tickets are glad to hear back to home and live events. If you're looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, theater event, all at the very best price, look no further than Ticketsmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticketsmarter will help support children in need. For a ticket transaction on Ticketsmarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticketsmarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticketsmarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrate. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. 
Bearcats. Hey, friends, thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. I'm Rob Pipp, another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball coming up here in just a few moments, live from beautiful Huntsville, Texas, on the campus of Sam Houston State University at Johnson Coliseum. Again, talking about uh, the Bearcats entering tonight's contest, six wins, eight losses, 1-0 and in WAC play after defeating Lamar on December the 30th, 75-64. to So uh, I didn't even say this at the beginning, a very pleasant and happy new year to everyone as well as we're looking for this 2022 campaign to get rocking and rolling for Sam Houston. They've won two in a row after they come out of the El Paso tournament that they were at at the Sun Bowl Association tournament. They split the games there on December the 21st and the 22nd, losing to Bradley 87-61. to But then Sam Houston, of course, turning around things, starting that two-game winning streak versus North Carolina Central 68-51 to in that contest. For UT, Rio Grande Valley, the Vaqueros, they are located in deep south Texas, entering this contest today, five, lo- five wins and seven losses. This is the whack opener tonight for UTRGV. They are coached under head coach Matt Figger, his first season from Eastern Kentucky, the 1995 alum. He's fifth overall NCAA coaching experience, 81 wins, 58 losses in those five years. Again, it's his first here at UTRGV. Four years was spent at Austin P. College. They'll get things started tonight as we go over the starting lineups here for RGV. And we'll start with a six foot six, two hundred five pound graduate guard out of Dallas, Texas, and SIU Edwardsville is his school. It is Mike Aduwami. At guard, a six foot one, one hundred seventy pound red shirt junior out of Houston, Texas, the transfer from Weber State. Number five, Ricky Doc Nelson. At guard, a six foot three hundred ninety five pound redshirt sophomore from Cedar Hill, Texas, and Clarendon College. It's number ten, B J Simmons. A six foot seven two hundred pound graduate Ford out of Plano, Texas, and Western Kentucky transfer number eleven. It's Merrick Nelson. And last but certainly not least, for the Vaqueros of UTRGV at Ford, it's a freshman six foot nine hundred ninety five pound out of Montgomery, Alabama, and George Washington Carver High School. Number thirty, Raquan Taylor. So again, for UTRGV, it is Aduwame, Doc Nelson, Simmons, Nelson, Merrick Nelson, and Taylor. Here is your Sam Houston Bearcats starting lineup for tonight. Jumper here, Tristan Ikpe starting early, and the Bearcats take a two-point advantage. Find Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic, the jumper, the two-shot, the yes! There it is to Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby! It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down, though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court. It's Dante Powers. He's saying, I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University. Number one, Savion Flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois. Number 11, I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas. Number 12, I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, a five foot 10, 165 pound junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma. Number 13, I'm Jaden Ray. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama. Number three, I'm lighting up the market. That is your starting lineup, Sam Houston. Opening contempt controlled by the Bearcats, and we are underway here in Huntsville. As Sam Houston has it on the right side, starters flag Lampley, May, Epe, and Ray, as you just heard there a few moments ago. Savion flag has it here, moving from left to right. This ball over the corner. Javion May takes a three from the right corner. Shot not there. Epe with the rebound on the right side. Turns around as he's trapped, finds a dancing inside Jaden Ray, and the Bearcats up early here, two to nothing, to get things started. Just underway here at Johnson Coliseum, UTRGV. They're wearing orange jerseys and orange shorts. If you're at the arena, maybe hard to mistake them for the Bearcats. Javion May trying to flip one away, and it's knocked out of bounds. He had good defense there on Merrick Nelson, the six foot seven freshman, uh, senior forward rather. And the Bearcats here, though, knocking it out of bounds. Good effort by May. Of course, May did not play in that last matchup versus Lamar 
as he was injured in his nose at North Carolina Central. But May is back out there, and he is a much-needed asset to this team. As the Vaqueros will inbound the basketball here on that left side. They'll take a three from the right corner. This shot on the way off the back of the iron by Adewami, and it won't fall. It's knocked out of bounds, though, and it will go right back to UTRGV. Again, thanks for joining us. That Bearcat fan text line is open tonight at 512-522-9105. Send us a message. Let us know where you're listening from. We'd love to hear from you. You can also send them in the booth on our social media feeds and just send a comment. We'll get to those as this game continues. 19 minutes to go on the Miller Time game clock. We're one away as Etiwami has it here, kicks it back out way up top near the SH logo. Right-handed pass by Ricky Nelson. Back over to the right wing, Simmons. He is guarded by Lampley. Simmons takes a three. This shot off the back of the iron. And Savion Flag skyrocketing in there to haul down the rebound. Here come the Bearcats from left to right. Ray back over to Flag. Flag trying to scoop it around the defender, Merrick Nelson. The ball goes out of bounds off Nelson, and Sam Houston will bring it right back in. Again, the Bearcats holding on to an early 2 0 advantage, 18 42 on the Miller Time game clock to go here in the first. Is Ray inbounding on the baseline. He'll find Lampley, long jumper from the right baseline. Shot's not good. Savion Flag tipping it around. It finally falls into the hands here of Aduwami. Aduwami back over to Ricky Nelson. Nelson standing on the Bearcat Sammy logo. So we go over to the left wing. It is Aduwami guarded by Javion May. Quick pass goes back over to Nelson. Nelson retreats. Nelson, well, it's Nelson and Nelson, Ricky and Merrick Nelson. Here comes Aduwami, drives up. Here's a shot by Nelson. Right wing won't fall as this one is Popped over to JV on May, and the Bearcats have it on the far side, moving from left to right. Ray flips it back over to May. May at the top of the three. Left-handed pass goes to Flag. Now to the right wing, over to Lampley. Back into the hands of Ray. Ray puts it on the court with a left-handed dribble. Floats it up into the air to Ipe. And now it's Savion Flag for three. Way downtown. That shot won't drop. But there's JV on May. On the rebound, Demarcus Lampley puts up a three. That shot isn't there, and the ball goes out of bounds off of UTRGV thanks to the hustle there by Savion Flag, and the Bearcats will get it right back. So Sam Houston trying to capitalize, currently leading 2-0, 17.45 to go, just underway here in the first. Bearcats shooting only one of six, though, to start this game. Inbound pass goes over to Ipe. Ipe hands it back off over to Ray from the left elbow, finds Savion Flag. Right wing three, rolls in and out. And Ipe trying to pull in the rebound. He had it, zinged it over to JV on May. He wasn't ready for it, and it goes out of bounds off the fingertips of May. So the UTRGV, Vaqueros will inbound the basketball here, trailing 2-0, 17-37 to go. Inbound pass all the way into the front court as it goes over to Aduwumi. Aduwumi putting up a shot here. It won't fall. Good defense down there under the rim by Ipe and Flag. Bearcats quickly back over to the left corner. It is Javion May. Straight away three now for Savion. This fl- shot won't drop. And the rebound popped right back into the hands of UTRGV. Bringing it in the front court is B.J. Simmons. Moving from right to left. Again, talking about this UTRGV team wearing the orange jerseys, orange shorts, numbers, and names in white. Bearcats in their white jerseys, white shorts. We got a whistle, though, and a foul here, and that's going to be the first personal foul and the first team foul. It's going to go against JV on May. So, again, good to see May back out there as we need him on the court. One of the better shooters on this team at 53%, 32 of 60 in 13 games, only averaging six points, but he's a very valuable resource for this team. As UTRGV will inbound, Adewumi has it over on the left wing. Bounce pass goes down inside the semicircle to Merrick Nelson. He'll find his teammate. That one dropped off to B.J. Simmons, but the shot no good. And here comes the Bearcats from left to right. Jaden Ray, we're going to cross over dribble as he'll hand it off over to JV on the right wing. Up top to Flag, Flag to the left wing to Lampley. Lampley high screen by Scroggins, who checked in just a few moments ago. It's back into the hands of Flag. Flag gets this one batted away, trying to hold on to it, down to nine on the shot clock. Jaden Ray's got to look up and see it here on the right side. Ray working through defenders. He has a lane, flips this one over to the corner. Here's a three on its way. This one off the side of the rim by JV on May, no good. Ray had a wide open shot, but he wanted to get it over to May instead. Now back the other way, UTRGV able to lay it up off the right side. It was Taylor there with the layup. Raekwon Taylor, the six foot nine freshman forward. We're tied at two apiece, four minutes gone here in this opening frame. 16 to go on the Miller Time game clock, and now we've got an offensive foul by Kean Scroggins. So Scroggins will quickly pick up a foul here, and that is the second team foul by Sam Houston. That'll take us to our first media timeout. We're tied two apiece, 16 minutes to go. We'll step aside and take a break. 
From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past years. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here for Sam Houston Men's Basketball on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. We are tied at two apiece. Second whack game for Sam Houston in conference play. UTRGV on the road tonight here in Huntsville. And this is their first conference game. This game originally scheduled for New Year's, but due to COVID protocols within the UTRGV team, uh, they extended it out. Initially, the WAC was forfeiting games, but they did allow teams an opportunity to make those up uh, due just to all of the COVID situation that is going on. So we'll get back into action here as UTRGV will inbound the basketball in front of their own rim. Again, moving from right to left, crossing that SH logo at center court is Ricky Nelson, the junior guard. Bounce pass over the left wing to Simmons. Simmons double teamed here by Scroggins and Lampley. Quickly back and forth we go. Back to Simmons at the top of the three. Picks up his dribble. The chest pass from the left side goes over to Adewumi. Adewumi at the top of the three-point line with four on the – or down to six on the shot clock. He'll throw this one over his head. Here's a right corner three on the way off the front of the rim. It won't fall for Merrick Nelson. And the Bearcats with the rebound. Jaden Ray quickly wanted to bring it to the front court. Thought about a three. Now goes over to flag from way downtown. Off the front of the rim, no good. And, boy, the Bearcats are now 0 of 7 to start – here have not scored in the last 4.30. They've only made two baskets now, or beg your pardon, only one basket, one of nine to start this ball game. As UTRGV has it back over, here's N Nelson from the left corner. That shot good for three. And RGV will take the first lead, 5-2, to two, 15 minutes to go on the Miller time game clock here in the opening half of play. Ray for the Bearcats will bring to the front court. High screen Scroggins. Ray working a dribble, drops this one off over to Lampley. Lampley had 20 versus Lamar. Need to see him get hot here in this one early. Here's Savion Flag from the left baseline. Jumper good. And that will stop the drought for Sam Houston. They hadn't made a shot in the last six or seven attempts. Now one of their last eight thanks to Savion Flag. Five to four. RGV with a one-point advantage. 14.30 to go here in the first. They've got it back over on the left side as Nelson guarded by May up top. Nelson puts it down with a right-handed dribble. Now a right-handed pass goes back over to Merrick Nelson. Here's a three now from Ricky Nelson. Doc took it from the right wing. That shot wasn't there. And here come the Bearcats. Ray has it on the right side. Ken Scroggins in there. Ray trying to go around him. Inside the paint. Bank shot. Good. How about that for Jaden Ray? And the Bearcats regain the lead, a one-point advantage, 6-5, to five, 14 minutes to go here in the first. As Adewumi has it back over on the left side, quick pass up to Nelson at the top of the three, trying to shake one on JV on May. He'll float this one from the semicircle, and bodies are on the floor down there, and, man, they're going to call a foul. I uh, believe it was on JV on May, if I'm not mistaken, and if so, that is his second personal and the third team foul. That's what it looks like here is it was on JV on May. So, again, JV on May picking up his second personal third team foul for the Bearcats. And at the line here is Merrick Nelson, the six foot seven senior forward, a 68% free throw shooter. He is also one of the top scorers on this team, top three scorers, averaging 11 points a game. He'll shoot the free throws here on the left side, takes a few right-handed dribbles, now in motion. Right-handed free throw, rattles in and good. 
And the first free throw of the night will be awarded to RGV as Sam Houston will bring back in Ipe. Damon Nicholas Jr. checking in for the first time. He had his first career start versus Lamar on the 30th. So on the floor for Sam Houston is Ipe, Nicholas, Scroggins, Lampley, and Dante Powers also checking in. Dante had a solid game with 11 points versus Lamar. We'll see more out of him hopefully here in this one. First free throw is made to tie it at six apiece. RGV next free throw on the way. This one good as well. So both free throws good there by Merrick Nelson. And the Vaqueros will regain the lead seven to six. 13-49 to go. Bearcats moving it from left to right. Dante Powers trying to direct traffic. He sends Nicholas down on the baseline. Powers has it. Right-handed pass over to Lamp. Lamp to Nicholas from the right elbow. Pass up top over to Lampley. He'll take a long two-pointer here from just inside the three-point line. That one isn't good, and the rebound falls into the hands of RGV. They quickly move it into the front court, holding on to that one-point advantage as Quentin Johnson the second in the ball game now. Johnson will go back up top here to Merrick Nelson. Nelson back over to Justin Johnson, who checked in just a few moments ago. Johnson over to Simmons. As Simmons will retreat, 13-11 to go on the Miller time game clock. RGV leading 7-6. Here's a long three from the right wing. That one rattled halfway down the cylinder and popped out. It was a good look there on that play by Merrick Nelson. Here come the Bearcats back the other way. Lampley from the corner three. This one too short. Nicholas with the rebound. He'll go back to Lamp. Now Powers has it at the top. It's an offensive rebound for the Bearcats. Over to Ipe. Ipe, left-hand swing pass over to Nicholas. And we've got a whistle and a foul here. I believe it is against Kean Scroggins. They say Scroggins turned it over here. And unfortunately, again, for Sam Houston, getting in some trouble early here with the turnovers. So I don't think that they actually called a foul on that, if I'm not mistaken. Just Scroggins may have stepped out and turned it over as the ball went around to him. 7-6, to six, RGV, one-point advantage, 12.43 to go here in the first. As... Aquarius has it here on the left side. Quick pass by Simmons over to the right wing into the hands of Justin Johnson. Johnson driving inside from the semicircle on the right side of the glass. Shot no good. Rebound to Ipe over to Powers. Powers weaving through traffic. Find Scroggins. Slam it down for Kean Scroggins. Beautiful assist there by Powers as Scroggins gives the Bearcats a one-point advantage as they regain the lead 8-7, 12-14 to go. As Sam Houston will... Go back to defense here. That last call, by the way, was three seconds down in the paint by Scroggins. That, that was the turnover a few possessions ago. So RGV has it back on the left side. Trying to go through traffic here is Johnson. He'll throw it up, and that shot good off the right side. It's a good look there by Johnson. He had the separation, and it is a one-point advantage. RGV 9-8. to eight. Back over to Powers. Quickly finds Nicholas. Nicholas up top. Lampley from way downtown. Buried it at the bottom of the net for DeMarcus. Light him up, Lampley. Well, we keep talking about we're going to need to see that tonight. Lamp finally finding one from downtown. The Bearcats are cold, 5 of 15 shooting. But that one will help them as Sam Houston regains a two-point advantage, 11-9, 11-24 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. It's back over to Johnson. Johnson over the head pass down to Merrick Nelson. He'll take a floater from the left baseline, and that shot is good, and a foul was called on Ipe. So an and one coming up here, Ipe with his first personal and the fourth team foul. That'll take us to a media timeout. We'll be back in 90 seconds. Free throw coming up here in an and one opportunity for RGV to take the lead from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. 
Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. Back out of friends, Rob Hip live from Huntsville, Texas, as Sam Houston men's basketball tied up right now, 11 to 11, facing UT RGV. Again, it is the first game in whack play for RGV on the road. Sam Houston defeating Lamar to take a 1-0 early lead this season in WAC conference play. A tough opponent here tonight, as this RGV team has faced tough opponents. Uh, just like Sam Houston, they battled number 14 Illinois back on November the 26th, lost that game only by a handful, 94-85. to They also played other teams such as UTSA in a 68-50 to victory there at the Convocation Center at San Antonio, and then they also played number seven at the time, Texas, 88-58 to in the loss back on December the 4th. Here's the and one free throw on the way, and this shot is good at the bottom of the net there. Uh, by Nelson. So Merrick Nelson giving RGV back to a one-point advantage, 12 to 11, 11, 13 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. The Bearcats have it back over on the right side. Jaron Cook checking in moments ago. He'll go over to Jaden Ray at the top, double team Cook on the right wing, trying to shake a defender. He'll step, drops this one back over to Ipe near that right baseline, trying to back down a defender. Hooks this one over to Savion Flag. Flag lays it up off the right side of the glass. Fancy footwork and a great assist by Ipe give the Bearcats another advantage here, 13 to 12. Love what I'm seeing so far tonight. The Bearcats have started to dish out those assists over the last few games. As RGV back the other way, they'll take a three. This one way too strong by Xavier Johnson. I believe that's who it was. And the ball goes into the hands here on the rebound by Ipe. Bearcats quickly back on the right side. As Flag almost lost his handle, was poked around by Johnson. Ipe able to hold it. Here's Ray on the right baseline. He'll drive one. Finds Jaron Cook for three. Burying it. Light the stove, baby, from downtown. As Jaron Cook getting into the action now and a three-pointer for Sam Houston. And the Bearcats have their largest lead at 16 to 12, 10 minutes to go here in the first half of play. Here's a three straight away by RGV. This one rattles in for Xavier Johnson. It's good. And he is great from three-point land. Actually, not that great. Nine of 34 at 26 percent. Uh, but he can steal the ball. Back the other way, Dante Powers will flip one from just outside the circle in the paint. The shot isn't any good, but a foul is called here on Johnson by the official on the court. So Johnson will pick up his first personal, and that is the first team foul by RGV. I'll say it was not in the act of shooting, and some substitutions coming in now here as RGV will bring more onto the court. Adewumi will check back into the ball game. Bearcats inbounding Ray over the left elbow to Flag. He'll float one up through traffic. That shot nowhere close. It got batted away and drops into the hands of Laquan Butler, who just checked in. Ball goes out of bounds here, and we'll see what happened. That ball may have got knocked around, and I think Sam Houston's going to get it back here. Yeah, the Bearcats will get this one back as it was knocked out. 16-15, to 15, one point advantage. They're going to actually call a foul on RGV, so that was what the call was, and it's on uh, Adewumi. So Adewumi with an offensive foul, his first personal, the second team foul. Here come the Bearcats on the right side. Jaden Ray over his left shoulder to Ipe, and Ipe was corralled there by Adewumi, and a jump ball, and that should remain with Sam Houston. No, they're going to call a foul. Wow. I thought the call initially was a jump ball, and Adewumi there with the foul. So he'll quickly pick up his second personal, the third team foul. And at the line here is Tristan Ipe for Sam Houston, a 59% free throw shooter. First one on the way, good at the bottom of the net for Ipe. Bearcats back by two, 17 to 15, 9.24 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first half. So Ipe will have one more free throw coming up, something that the Bearcats have struggled with this season as they're only shooting just under 60% from the free throw line. Ipe takes several dribbles. He'll bend his knees. The left-handed free throw, this one good as well. He emulated the first one, and the Bearcats stretch it back to three, 18 to 15, 9.20 to go here in the first. 
RGV will bring it into the front court from left to right. Swing pass Nelson around the world at Awumi, and now back over to Butler. Butler straight away three from up top, and that shot drops in. I believe it was Adewumi who received the pass, and it was, and he ties the ball game at 18 apiece with nine minutes to go here in the first. Savion Flag will inbound this one over to Jaden Ray. Ray crossing the timeline on the paw of the SH logo, trying to fend off Justin Johnson, who's guarding him. Ray now pushes it into the front court more. Lampley straight away three up top. This shot too strong. Ipe poking it around. It drops back over to Powers. No look pass to Ipe on the right wing. Ipe finds flag. He'll take a long two-point jumper. That shot's no good. And the rebound to Adewumi. Here comes RGV trying to regain the lead. Tied at 18 apiece from the left side. He'll pass it over to Johnson. Johnson here double team. He'll finally find Butler. Butler over to the left wing. Nelson. It's Ricky Nelson back to Butler. Butler trying to weave through two defenders. No foul was called. He thought there was one. He kind of gave up on the play but held on to his dribble. Adewumi now on it. And an offensive foul as he ran right into Jaden Ray. How about that? And Adewumi now, if I'm not mistaken, may be his third foul. We'll see what it is officially uh, on the play but another foul there on Adewumi and he will head out of the ball game so it is the third team foul I believe the second now for Adewumi on that play it wasn't his third and a substitution on the court as he will be replaced here so Sam Houston tied up 18 apiece as they'll move it from right to left eight minutes to go here in the first over to flag on the right wing handoff pass to powers back to flag to Ipe good ball movement here Ray for three boy that one rattled in and out would not fall for the Bearcats they are cold two of 12 from three-point land only shooting 16 percent after going over 44 percent versus Lamar on the 30th RGV has it back on the left side it's Ricky Nelson up top over to Butler Butler working through a high screen, trying to weep through two defenders, throws this one up off the right side, and boy, made that one look easy as he dropped it in. 20-18, to 18, RGV regains the lead. Powers has it here on the right side for the Bearcats. He'll find Ray over to Savion Flag. Flag handoff on the left wing to Lampley, back to Flag. He'll take a three. Shot buried. Good for Savion Flag. And that is a three-pointer for Savion Flag as the Bearcats regain the one-point advantage, 21-20. to 20. How about that for Sam Houston as RGV has it back on the left side. Working inside here is Butler. He'll flip one up, and that shot is good, and RGV will regain the lead 22-21. So a little back-and-forth action we go as the Bearcats back with it on offense. Dante Powers on the right wing. Two defenders on him. Throws over his right shoulder down to Ipe from the circle. Ipe flips it up, and boy, tough foul there. Ipe called for the offensive foul. So Tristan Ipe will pick up his second personal. That is the Bearcats' fifth team foul, and that will take us to a media timeout. We'll take 60 seconds on this break, though. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Welcome back, friends. Thanks for joining us. A pleasant good evening and a happy new year to you. I'm Rob Pipp, your play-by-play announcer. is Sam Houston right now trailing UTRGV. Sam Houston men's basketball 22-21. to I want to remind you, our Bearcat fan text line is open. Let us know you're listening out there tonight, whether you're on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network or even if you're on the booth, you can send us a message there or you can text us at 512-522-9105. Again, that's the Bearcat fan text line at 512-522-9105. We'll step aside and pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. 
101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville. And you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. Big shout out to our friends tonight joining us in the booth, Zach Dillard. Also, Teresa Dickey cheering on the Bearcats. Want to say hello to William Hubner as well. And Karina Jaya, thanks for joining us as always. And also, Rod Jarman saying didn't go to Sam, but listen every chance you get. Rod, appreciate you and thanks for joining us here for WAC Conference Basketball here this evening in Huntsville, Texas. Again, 22-21, RGV holding on to that one-point advantage. This game has been back and forth as we go. Sam Houston had a largest run at 5-0 run that gave them a four-point advantage at the 10-17 mark when it was 16-12, but RGV has made four of their last four shots to regain the lead. As they'll inbound here, moving from right to left, at the S of the SH logo is Ricky Nelson. Nelson dropped it off to Johnson, back over to Nelson on the left wing, now down low to Johnson. As Powers was down there, and a foul called here on the offensive side. Dante Powers took it from Johnson. That is the fourth team foul, the first personal on Johnson, and one of those keys to victories brought to you by Emblem Properties Real Estate uh, from Coach Hooten that you heard was we've got to play in front of the ball and take charges. Bearcats have already got two here in this ball game. They do that very well. Kean Scroggins back into the game. He has it on the right side over to Jaden Ray on the right wing. Ray and an offensive foul here against Sam Houston. Not sure that may have been a foul on Lampley, and it was. So tough break there for Demarcus Lampley. His first personal in the six-team foul. So one more foul by the Bearcats will put RGV in the one and one bonus as the Vaqueros will inbound the basketball here over to Ricky Nelson. Nelson in the backcourt now brings it into the front court, crossing the SH logo, moving from right to left, drop off over to Johnson, back to Nelson. Up top we go to Merrick Nelson. This three-pointer taken here from the right wing. That shot by Johnson, no good. Here come the Bearcats on the far side from left to right. It's Jaden Ray over to Lampley, up top to Flag. Flag trying to work in the paint. Right side, good for Savion Flag. Oh, baby, he had a nice lane, took the shot, and he made it. 23-22, Bearcats regain the lead. A three-pointer on the wing here by Johnson is no good. And here come the Bearcats. It's Dante Powers from left to right. Crossover dribble, trying to work down low. He'll pass over to Lampley for three with a hand in his face. Turn it up, baby. It's DeMarcus Lampley from downtown. And the Bearcats have a four-point advantage, 26-22, tying their largest lead of the game here tonight. Ricky Nelson has it back for the Vaqueros on the left side with a left-handed dribble. Bounce pass goes down low to Butler. Butler, as he'll try to work through two defenders, step back, left wing three, trying to answer the one from Lampley, no good. Savion flag quickly up court to Lampley, spinning around out of control and an offensive foul called against Demarcus Lampley, and that is now seven team fouls by the Bearcats. Sam Houston, after RGV made four of their last four, the Bearcats go on a run of their own, making three of their last three and tie their largest lead at 26-22 to with 5.04 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first half of play. So Lampley will head over to the bench. He'll get a standing ovation from his teammates. Uh, Coach Hooten, though, will not give him a standing ovation. He's having a chat with him down there saying, you got to slow it down, young man, as RGV will inbound the basketball over to Ricky Nelson in the backcourt. Bearcats have flag and Dante Powers in that backcourt. Now RGV brings it into the front court of the near side from right to left. It's Nelson trying to wiggle one, a pass to Powers. He'll rotate at the top of the three, cross back over to his left hand, and a left-handed pass over to Johnson. Johnson guarded by Ray as they'll switch up here. Now flag guarding Johnson. Johnson driving in from the left elbow. Bounce goes down low to Raquan Taylor. He'll take the jumper and layup actually off the left side is good. It's the fourth point there by Taylor. And 26-24, Bearcats leading by two. Again, Sam Houston making four of their last four shots, trying to keep that alive here as Dante Powers has it on the right wing. Over to Ray. Ray, quick left-handed pass, finds Flag. Flag takes a jumper from the left elbow. Good at the bottom of the net for Savion Flag. As he is making it look good tonight from the field. Flag here in this ball game, 5 of 11. He's already got 11 points in double digits. And how about seven rebounds? He's close to a double-double just in the first half alone. As the RGV Vaqueros have it back on the left side, trailing by four, 28-24. Here's a shot off the right side, no good. Falls into the hands of Flag on the near side. Here comes Jaden Ray from left to right. Ray working this one over to Flag from way downtown. This one too strong. As Boy, Ken Scroggins was in there trying to get a rebound, and he was just right on the middle of that young man and caused a foul there. So it's another foul against Ken Scroggins. 
And if I've got my notes correctly, that's his second personal, the eighth team foul, and that will take us to a media timeout. We'll take 90 seconds. Bearcats leading 28-24, 3.47 to go. We'll be back in a moment. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. Sam Houston Alumni Association, Art Tech Signs and Lighting, Aspen Heights, Barefoot Campus Outfitters, Bill Thick Ford, and Chicken Express. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Welcome back, friends. Rob Pip here live from Huntsville, Texas. Johnson Coliseum, Sam Houston men's basketball here in their second WAC game of the season, leading UTRGV 28-24. This is a RGV team that has 16 players on the roster, six out today, so they've dressed 10, and they've been shorthanded this season. There's been some games for RGV this season where they've actually only dressed seven players or so. Uh, They have dressed between seven and nine players for every game this season. They dressed just seven players during a three-game road trip from November 22nd to the 26th when they went two and one. Free throws coming up here. One and one on its way. First one is no good. And wait a minute. They, uh, yeah, there for a minute. I thought we were in the middle of a one and one. And the official kind of stopped things here. The first free throw was no good. Savion Flag ripped up into the air for it. And... I have another free throw coming up here. So shooting him is Merrick Nelson, a 68% free throw shooter. This is a team that struggles from the free throw line as well, shooting well under 70% this season. Merrick Nelson, right-handed free throw. This one is good. I have one more coming up. There may be a lane violation on that first one. So one more coming up here, 28 to 25, as one more free throw on the way here for the Vaqueros. Again, 28-25, 3.47 to go in the first. Here's Merrick Nelson. This one off the front of the iron, no good. And the rebound to Savion Flag. Over to Javon Grant, who checked in moments ago. Grant had a few minutes so far in this ball game. He's the 5'11 freshman guard for the Cats. Over to Jaden Ray, back to Grant. Right-handed dribble at the top of the three. He'll find Dante Powers from the left wing. Swing it down to Kuba Kowalski, the fan favorite. And, boy, the fan favorite who just checked in turned it over as he threw it right into the hands of Johnson. Here's a three from the right wing. That shot too strong for B.J. Simmons. And now Savion Flag wants to run. Ray, left wing three off the side of the rim, just off that front left side. Had a good look, good ball move. It wouldn't fall. Ricky Nelson back with it here for RGV on the left side. Bearcats trying to take another charge, and they do. It's Jaden Ray taking the second charge of the afternoon, and the foul is on Simmons. How about that for the Bearcats? Five team fouls now by RGV. Three of those coming on charges. The Bearcats have been able to force those in. 28-25, 3.07 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first as the Bearcats will bring it from left to right as it is into the hands of Javon Grant. Grant goes up top here to Ray. Ray dropping it off over into the hands of Powers. Back over to the right wing to Grant up top over to Ipe. I beg your pardon, Savion Flag. Now it's Powers. Takes a long jumper. This one banks off the side and good for Dante Powers. 30-25 to 25 as the Bearcats now with their largest lead of five. RGV with a shot here on the right wing. That one off the side of the rim won't drop back into the hands of Savion Flag and the Bearcats wanting to slow things up a bit on the far side from left to right. 
Here's a three by flag. Rattles in and good. And the Bearcats making six of their last eight shots. And they have turned on the heat. RGV taking a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past years. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. 33-25 Bearcats with their largest lead at eight now as they have went on a nice run here making six of their last eight shots and leading RGV 33-25 as they'll bring it into the front court here. Moving from right to left, RGV has it. Left-handed dribble on the court by Ricky Nelson. Nelson back over to Merrick Nelson. He'll drive inside the paint. Kowalski got a hand on it. Shot was no good, but the rebound dropped in. There, I believe it was to Taylor, and Taylor off the left side able to lay it up and good. 33-27, Sam Houston by six. Grant has it in the front court on the left wing. The crossover dribble up to Ray. Ray will hand this one off to Powers, and a little give-and-go action back over to Grant. Grant on the right wing, up top flag, thought about a three, pulled it back down here. Is Merrick Nelson guarding him, and we've got a whistle and a foul on Nelson for RGV. So Merrick Nelson picking up his first personal. That is the sixth team foul, so one more will put Sam Houston in the bonus. 33-27, 1.41 to go here in the first. As Sam Houston holding on to the lead, the officials discussing a few things over on the side there, looks like with Coach Figures. As they'll step back out onto the court and inbounding for Sam Houston just in front of the RGV bench is Dante Powers. Powers up top over to Grant, 20 on the shot clock, plenty of time here, 138 to go in the first. Grant, left-handed dribble up top goes to Kowalski. Kowalski from near the right elbow, back over to Ray. Ray inside, through two defenders, a little scoop and hoop action, and the Bearcats back up by eight here, 35-27 after the layup there by Jaden Ray. Ray having a good game, six points, three of five from the field here as he has come out hot here for Sam Houston. RGV back with it on the left side. Up top goes to Justin Johnson. Johnson from the WAC logo in the paint. Floats up a shot. No good. Flag with the rebound. He'll throw it into the front court over to Ray. Ray back over to Flag. Has a lane inside. Right side. Way up high. Rolls in and good for the Texas A&M graduate transfer. The Bearcats have their largest lead, 37-27, to with 52 seconds remaining here in the first. It's a little chest pass over to, from Nelson to the right side, trying to go baseline here to Xavier Johnson, and blocking foul this time called on Kuba Kurwowski. So Kurwowski, who checked in earlier, the seven foot two senior center of Warsaw, Poland, picking up his first personal, and that is the ninth team foul by the Bearcats. So two free throws coming up here for Johnson. Xavier Johnson, the five foot eleven senior guard. A 91% free throw shooter, one of the best on the team. That's a young man, if you're going to go to the line, that's the one you want. He'll bend his knees, right-handed, and first one is good. So on the one and one, makes the first one. He'll be awarded one more coming up. Next free throw here as he takes a breath, steps up to the free throw line on the left side. The first one was good, 37-28, trying to go 37-29, and he does. So about a 15-second differential from the game clock and the shot clock as the Bearcats will walk it into the front court. Jaden Ray all alone now into the front on the SH logo at the timeline. To the right wing, high screen Kowalski. Ray gets it poked away as this one will stay inbounds. RGV has it to the right side. Flip it up. That shot no good, but a putback is good by Laquan Butler. Actually, may have been, I beg your pardon, it was Raekwon Taylor. Bearcats back with it. The game clock is off. 37-31. Sam Houston making four of their last four shots here, and they'll try to hold for the last shot in this first half. Here is Ray. Ray to the right side from the left wing, way up top over to Powers. He's got to take a shot here at the buzzer. Shot's no good. But the Bearcats will head into the locker room with the lead, 37 
to 31. Don't go anywhere, folks. Got our halftime show coming up with Carlos Zimmerman from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than Ticket ticketsmarter.com or on the app buying tickets at ticket smarter will help support children in need for every ticket transaction on ticket smarter one dollar will be donated to a children's charity ticket smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of bearcat athletics ticket smarter a smarter way to buy tickets curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most it's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true remax is the number one real estate company nationwide remax prime properties is a locally owned family business in huntsville need a realtor knowledgeable in our area Area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. And hello, Bearcat fans everywhere. Welcome to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We're at the half here in Huntsville, 37-31. to Sam Houston on top over the UTRGV Vaqueros. I am your halftime host, Carlos Zimmerman. Thanks for joining me here on this wonderful evening. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Time to recap that first half for you if you are just joining us, looking at how things went up into the first media timeout. Rather slow starts on both sides of the ball. UTRGV did not even see their first bucket until the 16-minute mark of that first half. But Sam Houston also started off pretty slow as well. Only one bucket to start things out. Good defense on both sides of the ball. Forcing bad shots. It was 2-2 at the 16-minute mark. And then going through the rest of that first half. And after the second media timeout, the shooting just continued to be dismal on both sides. It's credits to the defense, but you got to get your offense going if you're uh, Coach Hooten or uh, Coach Figger. Uh, Bearcats got a bucket at one point to make it 5-4 after going on a near five-minute drought of no buckets. As the game progressed on a little bit more, Demarcus Lampley was able to hit a major three to make it 11-9 after the Cats started 0-8 from outside the arc. Back and forth, they went much like that Lamar game back on December 30th, but the shooting a little bit much different. It was 11-11 to at the 12-minute media timeout. Going forward out of the last media, the Cats went 5-7 of seven coming out of the under 12. And Jaron Cook, he was able to get going as well. He was able to hit a clutch three to make it 16-12. But on the other side for the Vaqueros, Xavier Johnson kept the back and forth going with a three of his own. A big key factor for UTRGV to keep Sam Houston from the free throw line, which is a little ironic given the, of the woes that Sam Houston has had at the charity stripe this season. UTRGV did not commit a foul until the 9.45 minute of the half which is a big thing for them, and it's a credit to how disciplined Coach Figger's team is. Shooting began to pick up as the percentages were initially low, but began to pick up in the back half of that first half at the under-8 media timeout. It was 22-21. to 21. Going through the final eight minutes of the game, quick run coming out at under-8 media. 
Bearcats were able to get two huge quick buckets, going three of three in that run. The aggression kept going. The foul trouble, however, started to mount for the Bearcats as well, but they are feeling it tonight with the shooting, and that's why your score is sitting at 37 to 31. Excuse me a moment, folks. I dropped uh, one of my uh, little uh, programs here to take a look here at the stats for the Bearcats points-wise for both teams. First for the Bearcats, Savion Flag. He's leading the way. He's got 16 points. He's 7 of 14 from the field, 2 of 7 from deep, 11 rebounds. So he's already got a double-double. He would need another category to pick up, uh, especially for a guy his uh, of his demeanor. He would need some assists to try and go for a triple-double. Demarcus Lampley's got 6. Jaden Ray's got 6. Jaron Cook. He's got three points. Dante Powers and Keen Scroggins each have two, as does Tristan Ipe. Ipe having some foul trouble tonight. He's got two. So does Javion May. That's why we haven't seen much of him. Demarcus Lampley's got two, as does Keen Scroggins. And one apiece for, actually, no, just one player with one foul. That is Kuba Karwowski. On the other side for UTRGV, a very limited roster due to some COVID issues on the side of UTRGV. Adewumi, Mike Adewumi, he's got three points right now for the Vaqueros. Leading the way, however, is number 11, Merrick Nelson, the graduate transfer from Western Kentucky. Also getting some points up there, Raekwon Taylor, the junior, or excuse me, the freshman from Montgomery, Alabama. He's got eight. And a slew of Johnsons on this team, ladies and gentlemen, quite a lot. You got Justin Johnson, who's the leading scorer for UTRGB this season, and they he they have the Bearcats have done a good job of keeping him quiet. He's only got two points and three assists to his credit. Xavier Johnson, he has five points, and then the other one with buckets up there, Laquan Butler off the bench, he has four points as well. Looking at the way things are team-wise, 45% shooting free from the field for Sam Houston to 37 for UTRGV. Three Point shooting, not great on either side. 28% for Sam Houston, 21 for UTRGV. The free throws, looking good right now for Sam Houston. It's 2 of 2, but still, it's a plus in the right direction. 6 of 7 is UTRGV. Only 7 turnovers for Sam Houston, but UTRGV has 3. 4 points off of those 7 turnovers does UTRGV have off of Sam Houston. Only 2 for Sam. 24 rebounds to 14 rebounds. Sam Houston winning the rebounding battle right now. We'll have the keys to the second half and take a look at the college basketball scoreboard when we come back. Stay with us here Every on the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Weezer of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past years. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring, and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Weezer of Huntsville. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today.
Welcome back to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Your score right now, 37-31 in favor of the Sam Houston Bearcats over the UTRGV Vaqueros. Time to take a look at the keys to the second half for the Bearcats. You love to see the aggression and intensity up right now, but you got to mind the fouls. You had 10, if I recall correctly, 10 or even 10 plus in that first half to UTRGV, who did not have that many to their credit. You got to limit the fouls down the stretch in the second half, or you could potentially let UTRGV back into the game. Keep shooting the ball well. It's working. Shooting very well. Like I said, 45% from the field, 15 of 33. The three-point percentage needs a little work, but you're 5 of 18 there, so you're making the shots when they have counted most. That is the key thing. The other key thing, keep shutting down Justin Johnson. He has only got two points, and he's the leading scorer for the Vaqueros. You can't ask for much better out of your defense. you got to keep that up in the second half, and that is your keys to the second half for Sam Houston. You've got a good one so far. Time to take a look at the college basketball scoreboard. Not much going on tonight. The Western Athletic Conference only game is this one tonight. In the top 25, Wisconsin and Purdue. Number 23, Wisconsin, and number 3, Purdue. Purdue leading 42-38 to with 14 minutes in the second half. Arizona, number 18 in the country. They're up on Washington, 32-20. to Not much else really going on. Some games that will tip off later tonight. Texas Southern is taking on Southern. At 7.30 p.m., they'll tip off, and Maryland is taking on Iowa in a Big Ten matchup. That will do it for the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. When we come back, we'll get you back over to Rob and get you to the second half. Again, Sam Houston leading 37-31. Thanks for listening here on the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be saved. Celebrate. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip live from Huntsville, Texas, on the campus of Sam Houston State University, Johnson Coliseum. 
Sam Houston men's basketball here on the board tonight. 37-31 leading UT RGV. The Vaqueros, again, thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Pip, and as always, a great job by Carlos Zimmerman back at the flagship studios getting you caught up of where we're at. Just a few moments away from getting back into action for the second half of play for Sam Houston trying to go out to a 2-0 lead in WAC Conference play. This is the first game for RGV to get started here this season in WAC Conference play. Sam Houston's schedule, it's going to be a tough one here this season as they'll face Tarleton coming up. Actually, this is the final home game before a three-game road stand. That road stand will start at Tarleton, or road trip, rather, will start at Tarleton on the 6th, then at Abilene Christian on the 8th, and then we'll wrap up down in Beaumont on at Lamar on the 13th, and then three home games after that. Stephen F. Austin on the 15th, New Mexico State on the 20th, Grand Canyon on the 22nd, and then two more games in December or January, rather, at California Baptist and at Seattle. So a lot of travel for Sam Houston this year in their first year in the Western Athletic Conference. We'll get back underway here. The Vaqueros have it to start moving from left to right. They're trailing 37-31. to 31. little flip and dip over off the right side. Shot won't fall there for Adewumi, but... We've got a foul to start things right away, and it's Epe. And, man, that is already Tristan Epe's third personal and the first team foul of this second half. It's not the way you wanted to get started with a guy that you absolutely have to have down there on the court for the boards. It wasn't the act of shooting, and so Adewumi will have two free throws coming up here for the Vaqueros. He's got four points, one of one from the free throw line. First one is on the way. That's good. He's got one more coming up here. 37-32, to 32, Bearcats holding on to a five-point advantage. Again, I want to remind you, if you're in the booth, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a comment, and you can also text us on the Bearcat fan text line, 512-522-9105. Second free throw on its way. That one drops in for Adewumi, and it's a four-point Bearcat advantage. 37-33, Sam Houston has it moving from right to left to Ipe at the top of the three-point line. He'll put it down with a left-handed dribble. Takes about three or four of them. Still has it. Crosses over to his right hand. Back up top over to Jaden Ray. Down low. Swings it over to Javion May to flag. Right corner three. Good from the right wing for Savion flag. The Bearcats back up by seven. They've led by as many as ten at a 40-33 to 33 advantage right now. 19-20 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the second. As... Vaqueros trying to answer with a three of their own. That shot is no good there by Adewumi. Here come the Bearcats back from right to left. Over to Flag. Back over to Jaden Ray. Ray drops it off over to Lampley. Lampley down low to Ipe. Ipe swing it around from May. May takes a three-pointer from the right corner off of the pass from Flag. It's no good. And here comes... RGV from left to right into the hands of Nelson. Back up top over to Merrick Nelson. Merrick Nelson back over here to Ricky Nelson. Back over to Merrick on that left baseline. Pass goes up top. Merrick Nelson takes a three, and that shot's an air ball from the left wing. 40-33, to 33, Bearcats by seven. 18-37 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the second half of play. Savion Flag set to inbound this basketball here in just a few moments, as he will over to Jaden Ray. Ray brings it in the front court from right to left. Ball in his right hand. High screen, Ipe. Ray zings it over Lampley. Left wing, wide open three. That one good for Flag. He was wide open, got a high five from Lampley, and the Bearcats extend it back, tying their largest lead at 10, 43-33. to 18-15 to go here. In the second half of play, B.J. Simmons has it up top over to Quentin Johnson. As Carlos mentioned earlier, there's three Johnsons on this roster. Back over to Ricky Nelson, also a couple of Nelsons. Nelson here drives inside over to B.J. Simmons, and Simmons off the left side. That shot's no good. A foul there on, we'll see who that was. They say it was a block by Ipe, so no foul, but it goes out of bounds. Ken Scroggins will check back into the ball game. Good job there by Epe on the block. So RGV will inbound on their own baseline, standing on the E of the Bearcats logo here on the right side. B.J. Simmons over to the left wing, goes up top to Ricky Nelson. Long three-pointer, my goodness. So he took that one from way downtown, and that one is nowhere close on a shot clock violation. So he had to jack it up that quick because the clock was getting low, and it turns it over. Bearcats will get it back here as flag inbounds to Jaden Ray. Ray, as he'll waltz his way across into the front court from right to left, left-handed dribble. 
Working it now from the left wing. Back up top over to Kean Scroggins. Scroggins has it at the top of the three. Puts the ball down on. Flips it up. Left side. Good for Kean Scroggins as he had the separation. Saw the lane and he took it. And the Bearcats have their largest lead at 12. 45-33. 17-20 to go here on the Miller Time game clock in the ball game. Adewumi has it. Back up top. Pass goes to Quentin Johnson the second. Down low to the left wing to Taylor. Taylor on Scroggins. Puts up a shot here. It's no good, but the foul is on Kean Scroggins, and that's his third personal foul. And for the Bearcats, their second team foul of the second half. believe that one may have been in the act of shooting, and if so, of course, two free throws coming up here for RGV. The Vaqueros trailing by 12, 17-13 to go. And it is two free throws coming up here for B.J. Simmons, the six foot three sophomore guard. Averages eight points a game, a 33% free throw shooter. Only coming in here one of three, but he's only played in two games this season. Actually, it's Raquan Taylor. Beg your pardon, I was reading that number wrong. Taylor makes, oh, misses the first one there. That one doesn't fall in. So for Taylor, he's played in 12 games, a 45% free throw shooter, nine of 20. It's Kuba Kowalski will check back into the ball game now for the Bearcats as Ken Scroggins heads over to the bench. So on the court, it is Flag, Lampley, May, Ray, and Kowalski. One more free throw coming up here for Taylor. As he'll bend his knees, takes a few right-handed dribbles, spins it in his left hand, and this one on its way and good at the bottom of the net there for Raekwon Taylor. He is one of the leading shooters from the field as far as percentage goes. He makes almost 60% of his shots. Splits the free throws there, 45-34. Bearcats back over the left side. It's to Marcus Lampley, hands it off over to Ray at the top, rolling around right wing. Lampley picks it up from the left, from the right corner. Drop pass back over to Savion Flag. takes a three. He's hit as this one goes up into the air. And three free throws coming up here for the Bearcats. An opportunity for Savion Flag to try to put those in from the right wing. And that foul was called on Mike Aduwumi, and that is his third personal, the first team foul of the second half by the Vaqueros. And at the line is Savion Flag. The only thing with Flag, he can do a lot of damage from shooting, but at the free throw line, this has been his weak point this season. Savion Flag, only a 32% free throw shooter, 16 of 50. But he's got three coming up here. Bearcats doing a lot better job versus Lamar from the free throw line as they shot just over 75% in that ball game. Here is Flag. First free throw on the way. Good for Flag. Bearcats leading 47-34 as Nicholas will check into the ball game. Kowalski back over to the bench. Two more free throws coming up here for Flag as he'll bend his knees. Right-handed free throw on the way. This one good as well. And I guess they say, yeah, he made all three of them. How about that for Savion Flag? He takes three free throws and makes all of them from a young man that is the leader on this team, but only a 32% free throw shooter and three free throws coming up huge there. The Bearcats have their largest lead at 14, 48 to 34. Inbounding the Vaqueros have it over here into the hands of Quentin Johnson. Johnson on the far side. Chest pass goes over to Justin Johnson on the near side. Justin Johnson brings it to the front court. JV on May guarding him. He's standing on the H of the SH logo. Pass goes over, and Savion Flag knocks it out of bounds. Good job there. Trying to feed Raquan Taylor down, battling on Flag, and Flag got an upper hand and knocked it away. 16 on the shot clock. As the Vaqueros will inbound under their own rim here on the left side. High pass goes all the way up top over to Merrick Nelson. Nelson will find Justin Johnson. Johnson at the top, guarded by May. Pass back over to Nelson here on the left wing. It's Merrick Nelson. Quickly back over to Justin Johnson. Johnson guarded by Nicholas. He'll take a three as the shot clock expires, and this shot is no good. It bounced off the rim, hit it with one second, but the Bearcats able to haul in the rebound. Jaden Ray has it from right to left. He'll find Flag on the left wing. Flag with 25 points already and 12 boards. He's got a double-double in this ballgame already. As the shot was down there, the jumper was missed by Javion May. So that one would not go for May, and we've got a foul there on I believe it's Quentin Johnson the second. So he'll pick up his first personal and the second team foul for the Vaqueros here in this second half. Trailing 48-34, to 16-08 to go on the Miller Time game clock. Xavier Johnson checking back into the ball game here for the Vaqueros. Sam Houston inbounding over to May near the right wing. 
Backs up his dribble. Pass goes to Jaden Ray, 14 on the shot clock. So he'll work from the left wing now. Drops this pass over to Nicholas. Nicholas inside. Bounces this one. Won't fall. Javion May with the rebound. All the way up top over to Lampley. Straight away three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Another offensive rebound. Here's another three by Lampley. This one is good. So offense, rebounds, leading to points. And the Bearcats pulling away now, 51-34. to Vaqueros have it back on the right side. Turnaround jumper, well short there by Raquan Taylor. Good defense for flag. Here come the Bearcats. It's Jaden Ray over to Lampley from the corner for three. Yes, turn on the lights, baby. Demarcus Lampley is dancing around, and the Bearcats have a 20-point advantage, 54-34. to We'll step aside and take a 30-second break. RGV calls it. We'll be back in a moment. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. I got it, friends. 54-34, Sam Houston Bearcats leading the RGV Vaqueros. Here in Huntsville, 15.25 to go on the Miller Time game clock. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston men's basketball. Bearcats on a 9-0 run, making over the last 128. And how about this, over the last four minutes to start this second half, a 17-1 run by Sam Houston. They are shooting 20 of 42 from the field at 48%. Really the only little flaw right now for Sam Houston is their three-point shooting. Still not too bad, 9 of 24 at 38%. They are perfect from the free throw line tonight. Turned it over seven times as well. But how about this for the Bearcats? 31 boards already, 10 on the offensive side. They have blocked it twice at 12 assists. Put all those numbers together, leading for a pretty good night here for Sam Houston. Coach Hooten talked about in those emblem real estate properties, keys to victory. One of them is just control the boards, and that's something that the Bearcats do. Another one was take charges. They had three in the first half alone. Jaden Ray making up for two of those. This Bearcat team starting to find their rhythm here in the Western Athletic Conference. I know it's only the second game of the season in conference play, but this Bearcat team finally looking like they're starting to gel together, especially when it matters the most. Vaqueros will inbound the basketball here, moving from left to right again, trailing 54-34 to as we're back in action after that timeout. 15-13 to go on the Miller time game clock, hopping inside off the right side. That shot's good, but a foul before it was up there by Damon Nicholas Jr. So he'll pick up his first personal, and that's the third team foul by the Bearcats. Not in the act of shooting, at least from what I saw. And we'll go ahead and take another media timeout. So we'll take it for 90 seconds. We'll be back in a moment. Bearcats leading 54-34 to here in Huntsville. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 
Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. Welcome back, friends. Happy New Year. Rob Bipp here for Sam Houston Men's Basketball on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network, 54-34. Bearcats leading UTRGV, the Vaqueros here in Huntsville tonight. And you talk about a Sam Houston team, as I mentioned earlier before that media break, that's starting to come together. The Bearcats are ranked 19th in the country out of 350 total teams and three-pointers made, 20th in offensive rebounds per game at just over 13.5. Sam Houston also ranked 26th in total rebounds at 543, 33rd in turnovers forced at just under 17, and 16th in three-point field goal attempts at 337. This team also still in the ball, 44th in the nation in steals per game at 8.8 and 45th in total assist. Tonight, they are taking care of business with that 20-point advantage. So the Vaqueros will inbound the basketball to start things here. A flip-up shot off the left baseline is no good. Rebound by flag goes over to Jaden Ray in the backcourt of the near side from right to left. Ray has it, right-handed dribble. As he moves over to the left wing, quick pass goes over to Flag at the top of the three. Flag with a left-handed dribble. Drops this one over to Lampley. Lampley wants to go left baseline floater. This jump shot no good. High up into the air. Nicholas with the rebound. Here's Lampley. Corner three. No good. Savion Flag knocks it back over to Lampley. Lampley left side off the glass. Good. Those offensive rebounds turning to points tonight. As there are bodies on the floor, Savion Flag is down there. Justin Johnson fell on top of him. And luckily, all the players down there in that circle hopped right back up. No foul was called. Sam Houston up by 22 now. And this Vaqueros team, by the way, they have had the ball 41 possessions. They've only scored on 15 of those possessions tonight. And on the flip side for Sam Houston, they have scored on 23 of 42 possessions as UTRGV will inbound here, moving from left to right. Brings it in the front court is Raquan Taylor. Actually, it is Laquan Butler. He'll slip this one on the right ring to Ricky Nelson. And we've got a whistle here on the floor and a foul by Nicholas. So Nicholas will pick up his second personal foul. That is the fourth team foul by Sam Houston. Actually, scratch that up to five team fouls now by the Bearcats. Inbounding is Butler. Butler goes up top down low and off the left side is Merrick Nelson lays it up in an and one. And so just like that, Nicholas will pick up another foul. And this one is an and one and six. Actually, it is five fouls now for Sam Houston. Inbounding here is RGV off of the right baseline on their side of the court. As it will go here by Butler. Butler goes up top to Adewumi. He'll take a three straight away with the hand in his face and buries it. And so... Finally getting some points here for RGV, 56-37 to 37 after the three-pointer just moments ago. Jaden Ray over to Nicholas. Nicholas finds Ray back on the left baseline. He'll float this one up off the left side and good. Nice little lane and separation there. Found the lane. Easy layup for Jaden Ray. It's 58-37, to 13-52 to go here on the Miller Time game clock in the second half. Xavier Johnson goes over left corner three. The shot on the way. It won't fall for Ricky Nelson and high up into the air is JV on May, but we've got a whistle here and dead ball. So again, 58-37, 13-45 to go here in the second half. As heading over is Damon Nicholas back over to the bench. Coach Hooten having a chat with one of the officials down there on the court. RGV running back up. They'll have the ball here moving from right to left. Actually, a bigger part, and Sam Houston has the ball moving from right to left. 
Back over into the hands of Jaden Ray. Finds Javon Javion May to the left wing into the hands of Lampley. Lampley pass goes over to Ray. Back over from Dante Powers to Lampley. Lampley trying to bounce pass and thread the needle down to Savion Flag, and it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds off of Vaquero's player. Sam Houston will inbound here. 58-37, leading 13-25 to go in the second. As Jaden Ray will inbound on the court for Sam Houston, it is Flag, Lampley, May, Ray, and Powers. Ray standing on the M of the Sam Houston logo. Lampley takes a three on the inbound. That shot won't fall, but and we've got a whistle here and a foul on Savion Flag. So away from the ball, Savion Flag picking up his first personal. That's the sixth team foul by the Bearcats, and that'll give it right back to the Vaqueros. 58-37, 13-24 to go on the Miller Time game clock. And on the inbound here, we got a timeout as Flag turned it over. So we'll step aside. We'll take 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas. For over 20 years, they do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Come out of the timeout by the Vaqueros, 58-37. Welcome back, friends. 13-24 to go on the Miller Time game clock here in the ballgame. Sam Houston men's basketball. Good buddy Matt Leshman joining us in the booth. Matt, always good to hear from you. Uh, normally up in Arizona. I guess you're in Texas, man, right now. So hope to catch up with you sometime as inbounding here is RGV. They'll move it from left to right. Trying to shake through is Butler on Dante Powers. Working off the high screen. Butler still has it on the left wing. Right-handed dribble. JV on May switching up here, guarding him. Pass goes up top to Adewumi with Jaden Ray on him. We got a whistle and a foul down here. And this is going to go on Savion Flag again. So Flag picking up his second personal. And it is now 17 fouls by Sam Houston. So one and one bonus coming up here for Vaqueros. They're trailing 58 to 37. With 13.04 to go, Epe will check back into the ball game. He's down in the keys alongside Dante Powers. And then on the opposite side is Demarcus Lampley and JV on May. Jaden Ray standing out there at the top of the three. Free throws coming up here, one and one by Merrick Nelson. The first one is on its way from the right hand. No good. And JV on May able to haul that one down easily. Nobody was there. Up top over to Ray. Ray on the far side, moving from right to left, finds Epe's double team. Or actually, Dante Power scampers through defenders, finds Epe on the baseline, left side. Off the layup is no good, but he's fouled, and Epe will go to the line, shooting two. Good ball movement there by the Bearcats as Dante Powers fumbling around with the basketball, finally found Epe, and Epe took up a hard, aggressive shot. Bearcats have been perfect from the free throw line, five for five tonight. Epe is down there. He is a 59% free throw shooter. Two for two so far from the free throw line this evening. As Coach Hooten is having a talk with Dante Powers just in front of the Sam Houston Bearcat bench. Here's the free throw by Epe. Is no good. He'll have one more coming up. So one more free throw here by Epe after the Nelson foul just a few moments ago. And that foul, by the way, was on Merrick Nelson, his second, and that's the third team foul. Epe missed the first one. Here's the second one. First miss of the night. Here's the second one. This one no good either. It's beamed up and right back over to Epe. The Bearcats hold on to it. Jaden Ray. He'll find Lampley. Left corner three. Too strong off the back of the iron. This ball popped up into the air. Powers had a hand on it. And they're going to say that it may have went out off Vaqueros, though. So we'll see if that's the actual call. I think it was. As Jaron Cook, who had a three earlier in the game, he'll check in for Demarcus Lampley. So it's Cook, May, Epe, Ray, and Powers for the Bearcats. Inbounding JV on May to Powers from the circle. He'll throw it over left wing. Jaron Cook. Yes, bury it. Light the stove, baby. It's Jaron Cook from downtown. 61 37 Bearcats. Back up by 24 at their largest lead of the night. And we've got a foul, though, back the other way by Dante Powers for the Bearcats. So that's the first personal on 
Powers, and now the eighth team foul, and one and one coming up here for Laquan Butler and RGV. We'll have a host of substitutions as Quentin Johnson will check back into the ball game alongside Raquan Taylor. So it is at Awumi, Quentin Johnson, Justin Johnson, Taylor, and Butler on the floor now for RGV. First free throw coming up here for Laquan Butler on a one and one makes that one. He's rewarded one more coming up. For Sam Houston, Cook, May, Epe, Ray, and Powers. Butler standing on the right side. Bends his knees. Right-handed free throw. This one too strong. Javion May with a good board there. Coming quickly on the near side from right to left is Dante Powers. Over to May. May at the top. He'll zing this one to Cook. Quick pass goes over to Ray. Ray shakes the defender on the baseline. Flips it down to Javion May. And he lays it up off the left side. The assist by Jaden Ray as he was able to shake and bake a defender off of his feet and then found May down there. Back the other way, we've got a foul here on JV on May. That's his third personal and the ninth team foul by Sam Houston. So the free throw or foul trouble coming early here for the Bearcats. 12 minutes to go. Still a lot of basketball in this ball game. The Bearcats, though, they have committed quite a few fouls. Already nine here in this second half. So one and one coming up here for Laquan Butler. He'll nail the first one. One more coming up. Again, it is Cook Epe down on the near side key. Up top is Dante Powers and JV on May. Second free throw. This one rattles in and out. And once again, JV on May able to have the position there to get that rebound. He'll go down low over to Dante Powers. Behind the back dribble. He finds Jaron Cook. Left corner three. Bam, baby. That stove is hot tonight. And it's Jaron Cook who's on fire. 63, or actually make it 66 to 39 now. Bearcats leading by 27. Back the other way, though, that shot falls in there, I believe, by Butler. So Bearcats with it here, 66 41. Shot was no good. Bearcats back over the left side. Handoff over to JV on May. Turned around. Bearcats back with it as it temporarily went to the hands of RGV. Dante Powers at the top of the three. He'll find Jaden Ray, 15 on the shot clock. Powers, long three from the right wing. Why not? Bearcats have felt hot. That shot wasn't good. The rebound dropped down here. Back over to Vaqueros into the hands of Justin Johnson. Johnson working it inside from the free throw line. Flip and dip. Shot no good. Battered around, and it goes into the hands of the Bearcats. Here comes Powers quickly from right to left. One-on-one, -on -one, flips it over. Oh, baby, Javion May was striking down low, and he goes down hard. He was trying to slam it, and that shot wasn't there. Bearcats get it right back, though, on a Vaqueros turnover. It's Jaden Ray up top over to Dante Powers. I still don't see Javion May down there. He's over on the left corner. Here's a three. Cook, he's hot, baby. That stove is melting now as Jaron Cook drills another one, this time from the right corner. 69-41. It's a 28-point Sam Houston advantage as we'll go to a Vaqueros 30-second timeout. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrate. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Welcome back, friends. Sam Houston men's basketball. Second game of WAC Conference play, and they're all over. The Vaqueros of UTRGV right now, 69-41 to with 10-24 remaining on the Miller Time game clock. Again, thanks for joining us. Sam Houston shooting 26-54 of from the field at 48%, but the defense has been really tough on RGV tonight. RGV only 13-40 of at 33%. Those three-pointers have came alive for Sam Houston, shooting 12-30 of from downtown at 40%. Also, five 
five of seven for the line. The Bearcats have turned it over eight times, but how about 41 rebounds? And we've still got over 10 minutes of basketball left in this one. We'll step aside 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. Savion Flag for Sam Houston, 25 points on 9 of 16 shooting, 4 of 9 of those from 3-point land. He's a perfect 3 for 3 on free throws as he was fouled on a 3-point attempt earlier in this ballgame. 15 boards. As I talked about Savion Flag earlier, he was already near a double-double in the first half of play. He concluded it in the second half. We still got a lot of basketball left here, though. The only Bearcats not scoring who have been on the court tonight, Nicholas Jr. has played in six minutes. He has no points. Javon Grant in five minutes and also Kuba Kurwowski in four minutes. But for the Bearcats, three players in double digits. I talked about Savion Flag earlier. Demarcus Lampley having another good game here. Needs to pick up the shooting just a little bit 5 of 14 from the field, but 4 of 10 from downtown. He's got 14. And then also in double digits, Jaron Cook, who is a perfect 4 for 4 from three-point land. As we get back into action, and a quick shot here by RGV as they come out of the timeout and able to make one there off the glass. Sam Houston turns it over here, back into the hands of Justin Johnson. And that ball is knocked around and a foul called here on Nicholas Jr., so he'll pick up his fourth personal and that is now the 10th team foul by Sam Houston. So double bonus shooting two the rest of the way. The Vaqueros, as they can try to dig into this deficit right now, 69-43. to 43. Bearcats' largest lead was at 28 when it was 69-41. to 41. Justin Johnson at the line here to shoot the two free throws. He's a 67% free throw shooter, played in all 12 games, now 13 this season. 45 of 67. First free throw on the way, and that one good and easy. One more coming up here for Justin Johnson. He's got six points, actually five points here on the evening. And one more free throw coming up for Justin Johnson. He's one of three Johnsons on this team. Bend his knees, right-handed free throw, that one good as well. And now he's got five points. Bearcats back with it here, moving from right to left. It is into the hands of Javon Grant. Grant has it moving from right to left. Trying to wiggle through a defender. Loses the handle. This one's turned over. It goes to the Vaqueros. It is Adewumi. Adewumi passing over to Justin Johnson. Johnson goes up off the right side, and that ball goes out of bounds here. So he put it up there. I don't think there was any whistle for a foul. The ball just went out of bounds. It's turned over by Johnson, and that's his third turnover of the ball game. Coach Figures not happy at all as he was up on his feet there on the RGV bench. Javion May will inbound here to Grant. Grant working it on the far side from right to left after he turned it over on his last possession. Double team finds Scroggins on the right baseline and dribbled this one off the foot of Quinton Johnson the second. It'll go out of bounds with 17 seconds remaining on the shot clock. So on the court for Sam Houston, it is Grant Cook, May, Powers, and Scroggins. Javion May, the only starter on the court right now. It's Grant inbound. Jaron Cook, can he make another one? No, this time that shot no good by Cook. And that was from two-point land just inside the right corner. Uh, but we have got a whistle here and a ball and a foul. Two free throws coming up. So Bearcats getting into quite a bit of trouble here on fouls. And that one by Kean Scroggins. And so Scroggins now with his fourth personal 11 fouls already in the bonus. So two free throws coming up for UTRGV. 9.32 to go on the Miller time game clock here in this one. Free throws coming up for Merrick Nelson. Nelson in this ball game with the first free throw. He's been at the line quite a bit tonight. Here's the first one on the way. This one rattles home and good. So one more coming up for Nelson. He made the first one. He is five of seven from the free throw line here this evening. One more coming up on the right side. Nelson takes a few dribbles. Merrick Nelson bends his knees. The right-handed free throw shot. This one good as well. Makes both. And so now Nelson in this ball game, he's in double digits with 11 points for the Vaqueros. Bearcats will bring it back into the front court. Javon Grant on that left wing. He'll find Dante Powers at the top. Right-handed pass goes over to May. May back into the hands of Cook. Left-handed pass. Around the world we go. Powers, left corner three. How about it? Bring the battle axe, baby. It's Dante Powers for three. 
72-47, Bearcats leading, 9.06 to go. Back the other way into the hands of RGV's Justin Johnson. He'll take a corner three from the right side. He responds, that one good. 72-50, to 50, Bearcats by 22. As Dante Powers has it on the far side from right to left. And he gets fouled. He's trying to find May. He ran inside the paint from the WAC logo, trying to find JV on May. And a foul is called here on B.J. Simmons. It's his second personal and only the fifth team foul for RGV here in the second half. And so B.J. Simmons will head over to the sideline. He'll go back to the bench, actually. Demarcus Lampley checking back in for Sam Houston. So Lampley back into the ball game. It is Flag, Cook, Lampley, May, and Powers on the court for Sam Houston. As Lampley takes a three and falls from the right wing, the shot's no good. But Demarcus Lampley, the second Bearcat player tonight, to shoot three free throws on a foul from the three-point line. That foul was called on Adewumi. And so for Mike Adewumi, that is his fourth personal foul now. And the seventh, we'll scratch it, we'll call it 16 fouls by UTRGV. Lampley will take a deep breath. He's got three coming up. Marcus Lampley, a 56% free throw shooter in the first one is no good. Actually, yeah, he's only five for nine coming into this ball game. Saw a lot of that last year for Lampley, a lot of four-point play opportunities. Lampley in practice, he is so good from the three-point line. This season shooting just 36%, but he's jacked up over 100 already. Second free throw. This one is good for Lampley. So one for two, one more coming back up here for DeMarcus Lampley. 73-50 to 50 is the score. Bearcats holding on to the 23-point advantage with 8.43 remaining on the Miller time game clock. Lampley again taking two big deep breaths on the left side. He'll dribble it three times, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, good, and he'll go two for three at the charity stripe on that possession. 74-50, Bearcats up front. Vaqueros has it back here for RGV, moving from left to right, 8.34 to go. As it's a pass over the right shoulder by Justin Johnson around the world, it is to Ricky Nelson. Down low finds Merrick Nelson. That shot good on the assist, and the shot good by Merrick Nelson off of the right side of the glass on the layup. As Dante Powers for Sam Houston on the far side will bring it to the front court around to Jaron Cook, who's 4 for 4 from the three-point line tonight. He has it on the left wing. Running some clock here, plenty of time, eight minutes to go in the second. Savion flag, he'll turn around and take a three right side. That shot no good. Savion just immediately turned around and fired that three, and it wasn't close. Back the other way, RGV to the right side. Swinging around is Justin Johnson guarded by May. Bounce pass goes to Johnson the second. Here's a shot. That one is no good. Javion May with the rebound. He'll poke it over to Dante Powers on the near side. Powers for the Bearcats moving from right to left. As he'll bring it into the front court near the top of the three-point line over to Savion Flag right wing, fired a chest pass to Jaron Cook. Back to Flag, handoff Lampley, three right wing. That shot no good. May skyrocketing into the air, and a foul called here against RGV. It's going to go on Ricky Nelson, his first personal and the seventh team foul. That will take us to a media timeout here with 7.29 to go. Bearcats leading 74-52 to from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. 
We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Weezer of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past years. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring. And may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Weezer of Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. Rob Pitt, Sam Houston men's basketball here in Huntsville, Texas. Leading UTRGV tonight, 74-54. to Bearcats have shot 47% in this game as they have really turned on the fire, especially here in this second half. 27-58 of 58 from the field, 13-33 of 33 from three-point land. They're also 7-10 of 10 from the foul line tonight. Bearcats, a couple of only blips here. They've turned it over 10 times, but the rebounding edge clearly in favor of Sam Houston, 43 to 21 as Sam Houston looking to go 2-0 and in whack play and then they'll hit that three game road series at Tarleton, at Abilene Christian and then at Lamar so Sam Houston trying to get this season started on a very high note, they were picked to finish 7th in the preseason poll and if you listen to my broadcast, I'll tell you that I don't believe this Sam Houston team is a number 7 in the preseason, I think they can be higher than that, they've just got to start believing in themselves and I think over the past couple of games they have as they come into this contest tonight on their first two-game win streak of the season. Sam Houston finishing up the early season uh, just in that loss column. But you flip a couple of games around as JV on May hits the first free throw here coming out of the timeout. You go to a couple of games where Sam Houston shooting is better, and they could have been a post-500 team entering conference play. JV on May makes the first one. He'll bend his knee. Second free throw on the way. This one too strong. And the rebound goes to Adewumi. Here comes UTRGV, trailing 75-52, 7.21 to go here in the third on the Miller Time game clock. Over the left wing is Ricky Nelson spinning around a defender, floats this one up, and it's no good as he went up against Dante Powers. JV on May with the rebound, back over to Powers here on the far side, moving from right to left, right-handed dribble, handoff over to Lampley, back up top to May. May, left-handed dribble, finds Jaron Cook, back to May near the left corner, up top over to Powers. He'll fire a three. This shot off the back of the rim, and it's not there. Up into the air, the rebound, Quentin Johnson the second. RGV pushing the issue up into the front court, spinning around, right side shot, good there for Justin Johnson. Boy, as he was skating his way inside, made that one look easy with a lot of acrobatic moves. Bearcats leading 75-54. They led by as many as 28. Trim back down here to 20. Savion flag has it, top of the three. Right-handed pass over to Powers. Powers trying to cross over his defender, left wing. Over to Cook, to Lampley, back to Cook. Cook with a right-handed dagger to Dante Powers. Five on the clock. He'll flip it inside the paint. That shot no good, but the putback is good for Savion Flag. He was right there under the rim, tipped it up with his left hand, and the offensive board led to more points for the Bearcats here tonight. 77-54, six minutes to go as Justin Johnson trying to strike one off the right side of the glass. It won't fall as he hits the mat. Here come the Bearcats. Powers over behind the back to Lampley. That shot good for three. Oh, baby, what a play. As Powers went behind the back with a no-look, found Lampley, and Lampley drilled it from downtown. It's 80-54. to Bearcats driving as RGV has it back on the right side. And Xavier Johnson trying to do the same thing that Powers did as he went behind his back on a no-look. Three-pointer there was no good, though, by Johnson. Bearcats back with it. They'll slow things up. 5.25 to go on the Miller time game clock, leading 80-54. to 54. Powers has it. Left-handed pass goes up top over to Flag. Flag from the right hand to Lampley from downtown. The shot's not there. Cook, though, up top to Flag on the offensive rebound. Flag running some clock. He'll go to Dante Powers. Powers has it at the top of the three. Trying to work through the defender, Ricky Nelson. Powers inside the paint. Flip it. This shot no good. Blocking foul, though, is called by Xavier Johnson. And Dante Powers will have two free throws coming up. So Johnson with his second personal. That's the eighth team foul by the Vaqueros as Kean Scroggins will check in for Savion Flag. Also some substitutions here. Ricky Nelson will head over to the bench and Merrick Nelson checking back into the game for the Vaqueros. Again, 80-54, to 5.01 to go here in the ball game. I want to welcome everybody into the broadcast. Thanks for joining us. Been a good one here tonight if you're a Bearcat fan. Dante Powers, first free throw on the way. This one no good. 
And it was a one and one, so they're going to say he was not in the act of shooting. So Powers missing the free throw. Simmons has it. We've got a whistle here as the officials are going to let a Bearcat player come on to the court. They were didn't give him some time, so they're going to whistle him in. Trying to see who that was. It was Javon Grant checking back into the ball game. So it's Grant Cook, Lampley, May, and Scroggins for the Cats. Out of Wumi, Johnson, Simmons, Nelson, and Johnson. And I say Johnson and Johnson, Justin Johnson, and Xavier Johnson on the court. Here's a slam back on the right side. Able to find his way inside was Merrick Nelson, 80-56. to That'll put a little stop to the Bearcats bleeding. They have just went on a blister here in this second half. Javon Grant has it from left to right, trying to from right to left, trying not to lose the handle as he is working against B.J. Simmons. He'll hand it off over to Lampley at the top of the three. Lampley, right-handed dribble. As he's double-teamed, swings it over to Grant. Grant bounce pass down low, Scroggins. Turnaround jumper, good. As he laid it, not a jumper, he laid it in. Good shot there by Kean Scroggins off of the Javon Grant feed. Back over to the right side, it's B.J. Simmons. Simmons passes up top to Hadawumi. Hadawumi inside off the right side of the glass. That shot wasn't good. He was too strong as it bounced off the rim. Javon Grant quickly passing into the front court over to Lampley. Lampley to Javion May. Shot was no good, but we've got a foul here uh, against. Trying to see who that was on. It was a whistle and a dead ball. There may have been a foul down there. We'll have it when we come back. We'll take a 90-second media timeout. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here. Sam Houston men's basketball over the RGV Vaqueros this evening. 82 to 56, 354 to go on that Miller Time game clock. Again, want to thank all of you for joining us in the booth as we're live here from Huntsville, Texas. Feel free to send us a comment. Let us know where you're listening from tonight if you're in the booth on our social media feeds. If you're listening on radio, you can always listen there on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network for basketball on 101.7 FM KSAM in Huntsville and also at KSAM1017.com. Uh, but again, you can also join us in the booth on our Facebook and, you- and YouTube feeds. So we get back into action here. Sam Houston. UTRGV coming out of the timeout. Bringing in the front court is Justin Johnson. Vaqueros has it here. It's over to the right side. Flip up off the right side of the rim, and that shot by Johnson is good. And one coming up. There was a foul down there on the court. Oh, it's an offensive foul as Ken Scroggins took the charge. So Justin Johnson with his second personal and the ninth team foul by UTRGV. Here come the Bearcats. It's Javon Grant on the far side from right to left. He turns it over for the second time tonight. RGV quickly back in the front court, slam it home, Merrick Nelson. So he had a nice opportunity there and was able to drop that one in on a slam. 82-58, 3-12 to go on the Miller time game clock. The Bearcats have it here moving from right to left. Javon Grant careless with the ball again, turned it over again, back the other way. Adewumi taking advantage of it, and an and one coming up. 
So Javon Grant turning it over three times here on inbound plays. And he'll pick up a foul here for the Bearcats. Javon Grant with his first personal. Bearcats already putting RGV in the double bonus as at a Wumi at the line here to shoot. 82-60, Bearcats by 22, three minutes to go on the Miller Time game clock. As Adewumi set to shoot free throws here. He'll bend his knees, right-handed shot, no good off the front of the rim, and it goes into the hands of Nicholas Jr. for the Bearcats, who checked back in just moments ago. Jaden Ray has it on the near side, trying to wiggle through a defender. Up top over to Jaron Cook. We've got a whistle and a foul down here, and this one's going to go on B.J. Simmons, his third personal 10-team fouls, two free throws coming up for the Bearcats. So we'll see a lot of free throw shooting if that continues to the final 252 of this ball game. It's Jaron Cook at the line to shoot free throws here for the Bearcats. Cook having a solid game here, 4 of 4 from downtown. He's got 13 points in this ball game, or actually 12 points, trying to make it 13, and he does right here. So he'll make the first free throw. One more coming up as Kean Scroggins will head back over to the bench, get a high five as Kuba Kowalski, the fan favorite, checking back in for the Bearcats. Jaron Cook made the first free throw. Second one on the way, and good for Jaron Cook. He is a... 50% free throw shooter entering, only was one of two. So finally getting to the line there, Jaron Cook. Here's RGV back on the right side. Flip one up from the left layup. That shot won't fall for Justin Johnson, but a foul is called on Kuba Kurwowski, who just checked in. It's his second personal. And two free throws coming up here for Vaqueros. It is Justin Johnson, the six foot six junior guard. So he'll shoot the free throws here. 12 points already, or actually 11 on the night. First free throw on the way, and it's good. So Johnson will make the first one, 12 points now. And he'll have one more coming up as Kevin Martina will check in for the first time tonight for the Bearcats. Martina, six foot seven freshman forward out of Switzerland. Here's a second free throw. That one good as well by Johnson. It's 84-62. 242 to go on the Miller Time game clock. Bearcats with it. Jaden Ray. He's trying to fend off his defender on the left wing. B.J. Simmons was on, and Bearcats almost turning it over. Jaron Cook on the court, though, and finally goes out of bounds off the feet of B.J. Simmons, who was trying to save it. So good hustle there by RGV. The Cats, though, able to hold on and save it as Nicholas will inbound on the sideline. On the court for the Bearcats, it's Cook, Nicholas, Ray, Martina, and Kowalski. It's Nicholas. Turns this one over on the inbound. It's up top over to Adewumi, and he'll slam it down as he fed Justin Johnson, actually, on the assist. 84-64, 20-point Bearcat advantage. As Martina has it now into the front court, he'll find Nicholas on the left wing. Nicholas from the paint throws this one away. It's turned over and quickly coming back the other way. It's another layup and good for Johnson. So the Bearcats here with bringing in some of their Guys that are usually sit on the bench, they're starting to turn it over quite a bit. Jaden Ray is fouled here, though, on the inbound by Justin Johnson, and so Jaden Ray will go to the line shooting free throws. So things getting sloppy here over the last few minutes. Bearcats, led by as many as 28, has been trimmed down now, 84-66, to 66, but there's a lot of guys on the court that don't see a lot of playing time here for the Bearcats. Jaden Ray does see a lot of playing time as he has played lights out here in this ballgame, breathing heavily as he'll take the first free throw from the left hand, and it's no good. Rattles in and out. Jaden Ray, 8 points, 4 of 6 from the field here tonight. 0 of 2 from downtown and trying to make a free throw here. Missed the first one. Ray bends his knees. Left-handed free throw. Missed both of them. No good. Rebound into the hands of Adewumi. Adewumi quickly goes up court here into the hands of Simmons. Simmons back over up top. Adewumi slam it down. Man, that thing may be on ESPN tonight. My goodness. 84 68, 146 to go. As Bearcats leading, Ray over to Jaron Cook. Cook almost threw this one away. Martina, he throws it sloppily over, and it's turned over. Well, the Bearcats have just turned it over so many times here over this last two minutes. Here's a three from the right wing. This shot is good for Justin Johnson. So, Sam Houston with some sloppy play here in the final minutes. Leading 84-71 to with 1.13 to go. 
Jaden Ray has it on the left side. It's guarded by Justin Johnson. Ray with the right-handed dribble. Just trying to run some clock here and not turn it over. As he'll take a three. This one on the way off the front of the rim. No good. A rebound by Nicholas as he hits the deck. Finds Krawowski back up over to Ray. 51 seconds to go. The Bearcats will go 2-0 and in whack play and make it three games in a row now as their confidence is starting to build. Hood's not going to be happy, though, with the final minutes. As Nicholas will slice his way inside, and he's fouled by Butler and two free throws coming up here for Nicholas. 84-71, 40 seconds to go here in Huntsville. It's Nicholas at the line to shoot free throws. Nicholas takes a few dribbles, bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot is good. And so that will get Nicholas on the board tonight. Martina Krawowski, the only other two players, I believe, that haven't scored. Next free throw on the way. This one rattles in and rolls out. Rebound over to Adewumi. Aquero's team has it back on the right side. Off the right side of the glass, roll in and good for Justin Johnson. 31 seconds to go, about a one-and-a-half second differential from the play clock and the shot clock. Martina in the backcourt. He'll find Nicholas back into the front court, and Sam Houston can try to run some time. No, Nicholas lost it. Boy, this Vaqueros team has not given up. B.J. Simmons stole it and then hits a three from the right wing. Wow. It has been trimmed down to nine with 15 seconds to go. Bearcats led by as many as 28 at one point, and now we've got a foul here by Justin Johnson. This has been an unbelievable last few minutes. Coach Hooten not happy with how his team has performed here over the last four minutes or so. When you talk about a team that you are leading by 28 when it was 69-41, to 41, then RGV here over the last four to five minutes it just went on a tear, 16-1 to one run over the last 231. The Bearcats have turned it over four times during that same time frame, and they haven't scored from the field in four minutes. There's Jaron Cook for the free throw. First one, no good. One more coming up here for Cook, 13.3 to go. Jaron Cook, one more free throw. And this one for Cook is about to happen. He's taking a bend of his knees, and it is good. It's 86-76, Bearcats back by 10, 12 seconds to go. Simmons has it. Here's a three. This one jacked up and no good. Kowalski with the rebound, and that should finally do it. Boy, this team is not giving up as Vaqueros hits a shot here they stole it from Kowalski and they're going to give him two the layup by Nelson and so what was once a 28 point lead will result in only an eight point win for Sam Houston 86 to 78 if you're an RGV fan give your team credit for not giving up and fighting through this one over the last four minutes or so 86 78 your final we'll step aside and take a break I've got post game coming up we'll talk about this one for a short moment, stay with us, friends, from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Weezer of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Weezer of Huntsville. 
Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. I got it, friends. Rob Hip here, Sam Houston Men's Basketball. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston victorious over the RGV Vaqueros, 86-78 to here tonight. Savion Flag finished up with 27 points, 10 of 18 from the field. He was 4 of 10 from downtown and a perfect 3 for 3 from the free throw line, hauling in 17 rebounds and assists to go with that. Savion Flaggy with a double-double and 27 points. He was 4 away from his season high when he scored 31 at Nebraska. Other players in double digits for Sam Houston. Demarcus Lampley got close to 20 again, finished up with 19 in this ball game, 6 of 17 from the field. He was 5 of 13 as he got hot for a while from behind the arc, 2 for 3 from the free throw line. Lampley had one rebound and two assists again, 19 points for Demarcus Lampley. Jaron Cook also getting into the action. He had a great game. We need to see more of him. And for the second consecutive week, Jaron Cook having a solid game, 15 points, 4 of 5 from the field, but he was a perfect Four of four as he lit the stove tonight. That stove started melting on that four three pointer. Three of four from the free throw line. He had three rebounds again. Fifteen points for Jaron Cook. Other players scoring tonight. Jaden Ray had eight points. Four of seven in the ball game. May had three. Epe had two. Dante Powers had five, and Nicholas Jr. had that one lone free throw. Kean Scroggins also getting the action with six points. The only other two players who had minutes in this game but did not score uh, was Kevin Martina and Kuba. Kurwowski. If we look at the final stats here for Sam Houston in this ball game, again, taking care of business, but down the stretch, not very good as they did not score over the last four minutes. They allowed the Vaqueros to go on an 18-2 run over the last 244 and make nine of their last 10 shots. Sam Houston finished up 30 of 66, 45% from the field. They were 14 of 37 from three-point land at 38% and shot 12 of 21 from the charity stripe. 17 turnovers, many of those, though, coming in that second and final half in the five minutes as the Bearcats, you can't turn it over 17 times. Uh, but tonight they had built a substantial lead and held on to it. Seven points off of eight Vaqueros turnovers. There was 52 total rebounds by Sam Houston tonight. 52. I don't know the last time that we have ever seen that many free throws or that many boards from Bearcats. It's been a while. 34 on the defensive side, 18 offensive boards. They had 16 second chance points, 27 off the bench, 24 points in the paint, four fast breaks, two blocks, one steal, and 20 assists. This game was tied four times. Or beg your pardon, it was it was tied four times for three minutes and 12 seconds. 12 lead changes. The Bearcats led for the majority of it, 32 minutes and 16 seconds. On the flip side, very quickly, RGV shooting 45%, 27 of 60. They were 7 of 24 from three-point land at 29%. And they got to the free throw line quite a bit as well, 17 of 23 at 74%. They only turned it over eight times. They scored seven uh, points, or beg your pardon, 22 points off of those 17 Sam Houston uh, turnovers. The Vaqueros, though, also only on the night with 27 rebounds, again, compared to 52 by Sam Houston. So a solid effort by RGV in the final moments, but the Bearcats had built that 28-point lead, and they never looked back to be victorious again in this ball game. 88 uh, to 76. want to thank everybody again for joining us here in this one. There's 86-78 was the final, rather. Thank everybody again for joining in. Been a fun one here as Sam Houston will hit the road and on the road at Tarleton to face the Texans. That coming up on, on Thursday. I'll have that call right back here on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Friends, just want to remind you tonight that this broadcast has been authorized under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and descriptions of this broadcast may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. Special thank you to our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. The executive producers of Sam Houston Basketball is Zach Caddits, the coordinating producer, Desiree Chambers, 
And a special thanks to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office, Jason Barfield, Ben Reichard, and Cody Stark. Studio operations by KSAM. A big thank you to Carlos Zimmerman at the flagship tonight working the dials for us. Make sure to tune in for the next broadcast coming up on Thursday evening. We'll be live from Tarleton. Starts a three-game road, road trip for the Bearcats at Tarleton again coming up on Thursday, January the 6th. We'll have that call. I'm Rob Hip, friends, reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you. Good night and God bless from Huntsville, Texas. We'll see you. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Hey y'all, it's Aaron Watson. Need a new vehicle? It may only be a swipe away. Every time you swipe your first financial bank Visa debit card between now and the end of February, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a new vehicle of your choice. Swipe often and you will soon be driving up and down that honky-tonk highway. For promotion rules and a list of participating dealers, visit ffin.com slash sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, member FDIC. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.